Sam Britt, and today we are going to be watching the official trailer for season two of Invincible, which I am very excited to watch. Um, some of you may, may not know, but I actually have watched season one. It's actually on my Patreon. You can click the link down below to find my reactions over there. But I'm very excited. I really loved season one. It was wild times and my head was reeling and sometimes I had to look away from the screen because I was just so disgusted at what I was watching, but I loved every second of it. So I'm very excited to see what we have in store with this trailer and uh, the exciting date of November 3rd for the show coming back. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, everybody, just, just so we're all on the same page. Season one ends on like a somber note, like things are not good. Like Omni-Man has betrayed all of Earth, all of humanity, basically. It is crazy. And we have Mark, who's just trying to pick up the pieces after his dad beat the ever loving shit out of him. And he was basically going to die. So wild time. So let's watch the trailer to see what is going to happen in season two. We all remember that day. For some, the pain will never oh, fade. Oh, that's such a good I shot. A kid, I always wanted to be my dad. What if that happens? I hope not. What if I become him and I don't even know it? I need to do more. I can save lives. Ooh. Put me back out there. Mark isn't like other Viltramites. He's a good guy. Oh. Go save the world, Invincible. You're way too good for me. <laughs> Aww, that was really cute. I'm glad. I am very glad to see that they're still together and having a relationship. Because honestly, I wouldn't blame her for like skedaddling out. Like that was all terrifying. And I, my own heart, even if I love someone so much, be like, I don't know if I can do this. Like. Oh, how painful. And like your life is at risk and stuff. Like, oh, it's a lot. So much. Who are you? I call me the Shapesmith. Oh. Oh. There's an infinite number of dimensions. And I was born with the ability to access all of them. Oh, no. Shut it down or I take it down. Make us. You have no idea how much I wanted you to say that. <laughs> Your powers don't make you a hero. They make you dangerous. Ooh. Make him pay for what he did to your world. The last 20 years of my life have been alive. You I am so happy. Maybe not happy. I'm very interested to kind of see mom's like dilemma, her like struggles, her trauma with this. Like, oh my gosh, like 20 years of your life been with this person who is pretending to care, you know, absolutely pretending, does not care, like is going to eradicate all of the heroes here, get them gone so it can just be, you know, infiltrated, taken over, conquered. Like, oh my goodness, I hope we get like at least like, at least maybe like half an episode dealing with mom and Mark and kind of like their family drama because oh my god poor girl poor woman why am i saying girl she's a woman like oh that'd be crazy what not to diminish that cool moment with mom but i'm also very glad we had got that um that teaser trailer a few months back for invincible um the one that had uh seth rogan's character they were at like a diner talking back and forth a lot of people got kind of I don't want to say creeped out, but a little bit nervous at that trailer because we thought maybe that was going to be the animation style moving forward. The little bit more um, camera movie uh, choppy-esque style. And I'm very glad to see that that's not the case. They're keeping the same art style from season one, continuing it on. I thought that would be weird, but there was a lot of people who were kind of nervous about it after that first trailer so glad to see that it is staying through and keeping our animation style very good to see Come and get it. Hey. Choice, my girl I need revenge. Ooh. 
so arrogant, just like your father. Ooh. People of Earth, the more you resist, the worse this gets. Oh, that's why is he saying that? And if you think you can stop us, don't forget, I'm. Ah. <laughs> ah, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. This section was weird. I, I can't tell if that's Mark looking at the video or if it's somebody else. It's a little hard to tell for me. But my guess is either he's just trying to get people away or to rally them up to fight with him, you know, stand for Earth. Or this is fake and like Omni-Man like generated some weird like AI thing or that weird shapeshifter dude maybe changed into him and is like doing this. It is a little weird that we have a shapeshifter now because now things get a little bit dicey because you can't quite trust people and it starts leading to them questions like, ooh, I don't know. <laughs> so I am so excited. And of course, as we kind of saw throughout the whole entire trailer, the action is going. It is not stopping. It is absolutely most likely to keep amping up. I would not be surprised. <laughs> like, oh, my... There are so many times in season one I had to like look away and to be like, I can't, I can't, I can't watch. <laughs> it was just like so gory, grotesque. And it like, my heart was like breaking. I was like, I can't do it. <laughs> but that's like the fun of the show, especially for me, is that there's not a lot of like adult animation out there that uh, pushes that boundary, that maturity level to have these kind of more gruesome scenes in it, which I think is cool because I, for one, am not someone who likes to watch, you know, senseless violence. But in this, it's not senseless. Like, it's there for a purpose. There's emotion and feeling behind it. So I'll be interested to see where this season goes. We've got a lot of things throwing at us here. Um, dealing with kind of a the, lot of the... Uh, loose ends of sorts that were kind of left around um a lot of things that went through kind of like our fingers a bit so that will be very interesting to kind of work through all that um dealing with mark and his mom and the emotional fallout of finding out that your husband has been lying to you for like 20 years and like this whole relationship was just a ruse like damn i feel bad for her like poor girl oh but it's going to be so cool to see how all of this plays out. I'm very, very excited. Um, music is already sounding really great, too. So excited for that. And the the voice work in season one was phenomenal. So I'm I'm very excited to kind of hear the voice work for this season as well, because there's going to be a lot more high strung emotions. All of these heroes are going through it now. The ones who have survived all of this madness. <laughs> So it's going to be, it's going to be a lot. I am just so hyped. I really loved Invincible Season 1. I'm very, very excited for Invincible Season 2, which is coming out super soon. So that'll be wild. Um, But I should state, yes, uh, I did not watch Season 1 on my YouTube. It is on my Patreon page. If you really want to check it out, you can go down to the Patreon. Support me over there. It really does help. Um, If enough of you guys like this trailer and want me to watch season two i'll watch it on my channel um maybe i'll get around to editing like a really like a compilation of just me screaming and crying in invisible season one and we'll put that up <laughs> as a little treat but um i probably am not gonna edit down all of season one just because it's been so long ago now but i really did enjoy it so if you really want to see those reactions patreon <laughs> Thank you guys so much um we will we will see i definitely i i haven't watched the um the adam eve special yet either i need to do that uh but yeah so thank you guys so much i'm very excited hope you guys are as well um and yeah comment down below let me know what you guys think about the trailer and what you're most excited for in season two and i'll see you all later <laughs>